guys, so I have done a lot of videos where I talk about Catholic things and growing up Catholic, sometimes I don't realize that they're Catholic and people don't know what I'm talking about. So if you have questions about the Catholic faith, like what does such and such mean, let me know. So maybe I could do just like different videos that explain what different Catholic words mean. You know, just very basic and nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that. It's just I just didn't realize that I was saying Catholic things that not everybody knows what they mean. And that's okay, like I told, there's nothing wrong with that by any means. So, but today I'm gonna be talking about novenas. A lot of people have said, okay, you've mentioned novenas in your video. What does that mean? I have no clue what that means. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of explain um, what a novena is. So a novena, novena means nine pretty much. And so a novena usually typically means a nine day prayer that you say every day consecutively for nine days in a row, a specific prayer. Um, so we have different saints that have, um, there are different patron saints for different things. So like St. Joseph is the patron saint of workers. And so God saw that he had, you know, a knack for working. He was a carpenter. So God kind of appointed him. We feel like God appointed him to kind of help those who are looking for a job or to be better at their job or, you know, that type of thing. Like you can ask him to ask God specifically for certain prayers. So, um, so there are a ton of novenas. I have this whole box full of, I don't know if you guys have a box like this, but through the years I've collected different prayers, different uh, little books, different things like that. And there are um, a lot of different novenas that I have. Now, I have a hard copy of the novenas, which you can get at really any Catholic bookstore, but you really don't need a hard copy. Like they have them all over on the internet. And in fact, I'll just leave a couple links down below of some good novenas that you might be interested in doing. Um, but I'm just gonna show you just some that I have just to give you an idea of what a novena looks like. Okay, so this specific one, you pray a rosary with it. Now, not all of them you pray a rosary with, but you can do a rosary novena. And in fact, this one is really intense. I have done similar ones, this one and similar ones. Um, and if you are looking for, you know, just powerful prayers, the rosary novena is awesome. So this one is a 54 day rosary novena. And um, so the first 27 days is you're petitioning, you're saying what your prayer is for. And then the next 27 days is for your thanksgiving. So you're thanking God for answering that prayer. Um, so if you can tell, so 54 days is an acronym of nine. So, um, so no, novena is nine of something. So it, this is 54 days. I don't know if that makes sense, but typically, it is a nine, nine days in a row. Um, so this, like I said, is just a little book and it tells you how to pray the rosary, but also it tells you just um, every mystery what to pray and kind of just walks you through it. So there are things like this. Okay, there's also little prayers, novenas like this. This is a novena to St. Gerard and he is actually the patron of motherhood. Um, and I was really worried about, and uh, childbirth. I was really worried about having four C-sections, so I did a novena um, asking St. Gerard to pray specifically for my um, C-sections. And so it just says day one. So for this one, you just pray this, and then, uh, and then you would do this prayer, and that's it. Like you don't pray a rosary with it or anything like that, and then day two. So they're all very different, but usually there's like a patron saint that you are doing the novena with, and it will help you. So it's nine days in a row. So it really is just a prayer, but it's a more intense prayer um, that you wanna focus specifically on something. And I have done it, like before I met my husband, I did novena after novena after novena for my husband, just like that God would prepare him for me and that he was a good holy man and all of that. So if you, so if there's, 
anything that you could pray for. You could pray for a job, for fertility, um, for you know helping you find your vocation, all these different prayers. And there are just so many different novenas that even if you just Google novena, um, and let's say you're, you Google novena and infertility, you will find one. In fact, that's what helped me because I struggled with infertility and Pope John Paul II came up and I attribute him for helping me, um, bringing my prayers to God and helping me with having Thomas. And I have not struggled with infertility since. So, um, so anyway, that was very joyful. God answered that prayer and Pope John Paul II helped me with that. So anyway, so that is what a novena is. It's very simple. It's uh, pretty easy to do. It can, you can be as intense as praying a rosary with it or you can just do the prayers like that, like I showed you. So, um, so like I said, I will put in the link below just some different ones, but like I said, just Google and you can just print it off and just do it that way. It doesn't have to be where you go out and buy anything. Um, but I just happen to have physical things to show you. So anyway, that is Novena. I hope that this helped you guys. Let me know if there's any Catholic words that don't make sense to you, don't understand what they mean. Um, I would love to help uh, maybe do some more videos like this to help you to understand the vocabulary, the language of the, the Catholic Church, Catholicism, so that you, you know what's going on type of thing. So anyway, until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.